Hello, Miss Alufa Mudaona did do a hoopuna do fine. Eid Mubarak to you all. Well, as you know, this program called Review Things that Will Happen at the Week, we will bring a count on. But when I know say this week here, we get big, big holiday week inside, so we may make some of the clip there, we will not be able to get them. But today, we will begin to get them. The First Lady of Sierra Leone. A bidding a round table talk. He talked things were very important with you as a Sierra Leonean, you need to know. And what did they affect to him as African and precisely Sierra Leone? He said, We get all mineral, we mini, every Sierra Leonean you need for, you deserve for, live better life. But the truth here is, that not in the happiness salon. He highlight which in the problem we they get. He said we all we get only minerals and they bought. We get big boys the way they on top we. We no go get right for say things they also put for say. Now that means sometimes we they blame we leaders then say when they in a position they not go able to transform or things that we people they want for say. But first lady be honestly they talk about which they affect Africa and Sierra Leone. See, all the mineral we get, we supposed to live happy life as a Sierra Leonean, but that's not the happy because of the reason that we highlight. So at the play for now, the clip, no one has to listen exactly. These are the things we lead that they facing. Anybody who is stand by now, then go fed till to the last. Like if they cow, then mind the company that we will get some. We won't forget the interest of your country. They will fight you to the last. So, when I listen with the first lady, get for say, it really touched my heart. Today, and the day we talk, it really nailed it. Now, then, see how it affect Africa. When I thank you. You look at what Sierra Leone have to offer when it comes to our mineral resources. The kind of mineral resources we have in our country is enough to take care of everybody in that country. We should not have a single per person in Sierra Leone. But unfortunately, we are not given the free will to make decisions on our own mineral resources. There is always Big Brother who decides. And when you fight and say, no, we are not going to do this, they use the system to stop you. It's either they set you up with the opposition and they will be supporting the opposition against you from the back or they cause unnecessary chaos in your country so that you are not able to even govern your own people. They will do things to make you not to uh, be functionable. And of course, any country that don't have peace cannot develop. You have to have peace before you talk about development. I'll give you a simple example about Sierra Leone. Every mining company that is in Sierra Leone today is owned by a foreigner every mining company. If it's not the Chinese, it's the American, it's the British. Our electricity, Bumuda, is run by the British. And we still don't have light. We're looking for light, electricity. If you don't have electricity, how can you talk about education? How can you talk about health facility? How can you talk about improving the infrastructure of your country? We don't have electricity. Now, do we actually even have proper water, pipe bone water, so that our kids will not be sick? We don't have those facilities. Why? With all the minerals we have, there is a cap you put. Before my husband became the president of Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone was benefiting. They said, uh, what's the word? 0.000.1%. What is that? Basically, a company can take as much as $100 million out of the country in terms of minerals, and then they can just give the country $10,000. Now, what will $10,000 do for our health system? What is $10,000 do for our educational system? And these are the things I believe that are stopping Africa from progressing. We don't have a say. The sense about us celebrating independence, I don't know why we celebrate independence.